Vertical break and induced vertical break are probably terms you've heard to describe pitch movement. But are they different? Yes. There's a big difference, but it's simple to understand. Vertical break is the measure of how many inches the ball is dropping off a straight line trajectory from the time of release to when the ball gets to home plate. So you'll see these numbers as negative. Induced vertical break takes gravity out of the equation. So it's explaining how many inches the ball would move vertically based on the spin and axis during its flight to home plate. Based on the pitch type, it could be a negative or a positive number. Because of this, two players can have similar vertical breaks with different induced vertical breaks. For example, Gregory Soto and Eli Morgan both average negative 14.5 inches of vertical break on their fastballs, but Soto averages 98 miles per hour, while Morgan averages 92 miles an hour. How does that work? Morgan throws his fastball with a significantly higher amount of induced vertical break than Soto. But Soto's fastball drops the same amount as Morgan's because he throws at 6 miles per hour harder. His high velocity allows less time for the ball to drop because of gravity, making up for his lack of induced vertical break compared to Morgan, who relies on his high-induced vertical break to keep the ball from dropping.